Well, hello there. Welcome to Beer et Chocolat. I've just finished uh, topping off a, a stout here. This is a Liars Bench uh, Beer Company Oyster Stout out from out uh, from up in uh, New Hampshire, up in Portsmouth. Uh, I just finished doing a tasting and uh, just topped off a little. I figured, well, <laughs> I've got some beer here. Why don't we get together with a little chocolate and see what it tastes like? So, brought out the old Hershey's milk chocolate. We always do that. It's very simple, very basic. We have a little bit. We have a taste of the chocolate. We have a taste of the beer. We see if they get together and it's a hit or a miss. And first off, there are tasting notes right up there for the Oyster Bay, um, uh, for the, I'm sorry, the Liar's Bench Oyster Stout. Uh, it is a full-bodied one. It's got a little bit, it's just a regular stout until the very end and it's got a little bit of salinity, a little bit of, of, uh, of saltiness to it. Let's see if it gets together with the chocolate. Typical Hershey's, rich, covers the mouth, very sweet, just enough chocolate to let you know it's chocolate. I call it Easter Bunny chocolate. Let's see if they get together. It's not a, a hot and heavy romance. But that, again, that salinity in the beer fits together at the end with a little bit of that fattiness of the chocolate, a little bit of that cocoa butter. And uh, as you know, chocolate and uh, salt get along very well. And so this is a truly, this is a definite hit. So is. Liar's Bench, Oyster Stout, and Hershey's Milk Chocolate. A hit or a miss? It's definitely a hit. If you enjoyed this presentation, please click on the subscribe button and the bell. That way you won't miss any of our presentations. A thumbs up would be great. Share us with your friends. A comment would be really appreciated. I'm Pete LaFrance, the old growler, looking forward to seeing you next time on Beer at Chocolate.